Hello there. I wanted to talk with you for another couple of minutes about this power supply, this bench power supply that I found at a flea market, and I wanted to explain why this is such a bad construction. At this point it does not work, it does not turn on, you, you know, you, you plug it in and you flip the switch and nothing happens. So I'm not going to repair this, I'm just going to take it all apart and I'm going to improve this with some different internals. What I saw at the flea market was uh, quite nice looking. We got a 25 volt meter right there and a 1 amp meter right there. We got our voltage adjustment right there. We have some nice binding posts for uh, banana plugs as well as for uh, just uh, single loose wires power indicator and a power switch right there, two fuses on the back and power cord. Now, um, as we take a look inside, this is where it gets kind of strange. We have a transformer and this module right here, this electronic module, this has a great big Telefunken label on it that you can uh, kind of see all the way down there. Well, not really, but um, it's there. And this is a regulated power supply out of some sort of a device. This is a whole entire assembly, uh, the transformer and the electronics, and that is why the uh, transformer and the circuit board are sandwiched in such a rather strange way. Um, now, the problem is, this is a constant voltage power supply. What they did in order to uh, make this variable is they hooked up this rheostat, this uh, high power potentiometer, in series with the output. This is a uh, quite a lovely little wire wound rheostat. Seems to have some asbestos in there, so uh, <laughs> that's not going into the parts bin. I don't think so. Now, why is it such a bad idea? to use this sort of setup. Well, I have drawn a little schematic right here to sort of explain this. So we have our stabilized constant voltage power supply out of that Telefunken device. And this feeds the adjustment right there, this little adjustable resistor, and then it goes out into a load. The problem is Ohm's law, right there. Voltage equals resistance times current. So, if this load right there is constant and does not change at all, everything's fine. You can set a voltage and whatever voltage you've set is going to be there on your load. However, as soon as the load changes or when you have uh, adjusted a voltage, an output voltage, and then you hook up the load, you're going to notice that your voltage is going to change. So, for example, if you had an amplifier hooked up to this, taking a, uh, a varying amount of current, you'd see that your voltmeter would also be uh, varying in the voltage. Basically, uh, you'd have a set of VU meters here, both reflecting the uh, load that the amplifier puts onto the power supply. The simple fact is, with Ohm's law, if, you, uh, if, if we just uh, take this voltage equals resistance times current for our adjustment resistor right there. Okay, so our adjustment, we've made our adjustment so our resistance is constant. Our voltage across the resistor ideally would also be constant so that the output voltage across our load could be constant as well. The problem is we have a changing variable in this equation. If our load fluctuates that means that the current is going to change. Our adjustable resistor, we have set that, so this is now constant, so the only way this equation can be true when the current changes is when the voltage also changes. So the voltage across our adjustment resistor changes, and that also means, since this voltage across the whole entire uh, thing, the whole entire circuit path is constant, that our voltage 
across the load is going to vary. And for a bench power supply, that is a big no-no. Essentially, we can adjust our voltage in this thing or on this thing. However, we have absolutely no load regulation whatsoever. And this is something that uh, something as simple as the LM317 voltage regulator does a very, very good job at. So that's why this is just not going to work. Now, as we take a look at the uh, rest of this construction, we have uh, right there, <laughs> this could have been the key, the solution, the better solution. There is an adjustment right there. And it's right next to the voltage output. So maybe this, within certain limits, might adjust the output voltage of this uh, circuit. And this adjustment would have a load regulation because it is part of the proper regulating circuit, which is uh, built around this uh, BD135 linear transistor right there. So it probably would have been a much better choice to just uh, take this potentiometer or this, uh, this trimmer adjustment to take that out and to just hook up a potentiometer on the front. And uh, now typically these uh, internal voltage adjustments, they are not going to go all the way from zero volts to uh, full voltage. They are, you know, if, if you are like, let's just say this was a 12 volt power supply, then this adjustment might have a reach from, let's say, you know, 8 volts to 16 volts, something like that at max. Um, you know, but you could have, uh, you could have messed around with this and, you know, you could have tried. But, uh, of course, uh, that you can only do when you're actually uh, knowing what you're doing. In this case, um, this is quite well made. I'm going to give him that. Uh, certainly no complaints about this, about uh, any of uh, how this was made, how this was put together. So you can see they even used a proper hole saw to make the cutouts for the meters. Quite nice. I could not do this in my workshop. But when it comes to uh, what counts, and that is the technical setup, uh -uh, no good. They had a module, but they had absolutely no idea what to do with it, so <laughs> they came up with this. Anyway, this is not going to survive this evening. I'm now going to start tearing it apart so that I can put in something better. Thank you for watching.